Today I'm going to take you along with me and show you what I'm preparing for my dinner tonight. I'm going to have my huge salad as I always do. I always build my meals around my vegetables and I eat an abundance of colorful vegetables every single day. That's just what feels right for my body through all the experimentation over the years so I stick with that. Today I'm going to be cooking as you saw in the thumbnail. These are pig's feet. These two pig's feet cost me $1.50, so very affordable. And I eat pig's feet on a regular basis. I'll tell you why. First of all, they're delicious. And second of all, this food is very rich in gelatin, collagen. It's extremely high in collagen. So I eat this, bone broth. I consume bone broth, as you know. And I eat these foods, like I said, not only because they please my palate, but they build literally, especially foods like this that are so high in collagen and rich in protein too, not to mention, and amino acids, and glycine and these things. Collagen, as, as we get older, and I'm getting older as we all are, it, the production of natural collagen in the skin declines. So I like to supplement with food because in my experience you are what you eat. It really does come out in the skin and since I have been including, I have mentioned in the past that I used to not eat meat and I didn't eat any of these foods many years ago. I just uh, didn't include them in my diet. But ever since starting to include organ meats, foods like this, animal fats and you know omegas and things from animal sources I have noticed a huge benefit in my overall health namely my digestion and my skin has improved in fact it was introducing animal fats in particular that cured my psoriasis that I was plagued with for so many years uh, that painful psoriasis I had on my scalp, on the base of my neck, I had that for so many years and changing my diet is what corrected that. But anyway, I'm going to be cooking pig's feet today. I'll show you exactly how simple it is. Let me suit up. And I simply, I have a, a large pot here. I just place them in, there's two here. You see two pig's feet, so I'm going to put them in the bottom of the pot. And I'm going to season this very simply. Why? Because I've cooked these many times and in various preparations, and I actually find that I enjoy the taste and the texture and everything in a simply prepared way. I tried it once in a very gourmet way and I ate it, but I actually prefer just to taste the pig's feet as it is. It's so delicious, very simply seasoned, and I also like the texture better. Um, the less I handle it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I do put some aromatics in though, so uh, several cloves of garlic and I just dump them in. And then with my grater, how many of you are going to predict the next step? <laughs> it's my frozen ginger knob that I have clean and frozen always. I use this for soups and stews, salads, everything. I would say about a teaspoon worth. I don't measure. And immediately, oh, the aroma of fresh ginger grated is something I love. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and then I'm going to put some salt and pepper. Okay. You want to season it, so uh, and some pepper, onion powder. Okay. I throw some parsley in. Again, this is more just for the aromatic effect. When it's cooking, it just it is enticing. So, and parsley is a good uh, addition anyway. And that's it. I simply cover this with filtered water. So, I cover it enough, and we're going to boil this. I'm going to boil this for a few hours. That's the trick. So, I pour filtered water over just to cover, and I'm going to 
bring this to the stove and as you can see the pig's feet at the bottom of the pot and I'm going to bring this to a boil for about 10 minutes and then I will turn the heat down to medium low. I'm going to at that point cover it with the lid and then what I do is I leave the lid cracked open so the water can evaporate and then I leave it for about three to four hours and what that does is it boils the pig's feet so all the goodness comes out of it and I consume the pig's feet and then what I do is I pour the remaining liquid it's going to be gelatinous and gooey containing all the gelatin reserves from the pig's feet I pour that into a glass container, put it in the refrigerator to chill, and then I consume that. Nothing goes to waste, I consume all of it. But this I swear by because it quite literally is skin nourishing food. I notice such a difference in the suppleness and the overall quality of my skin and also my, my nails and overall my hair, skin, and nails all benefit from this because collagen, when you consume it through food, and I don't have any experience consuming collagen supplements, I prefer to get my nutrients from food. So I can only speak to this, but in my experience, consuming things like bone broth and pig's feet, these gelatinous collagen-rich foods, these foods directly impact the appearance of my skin and I've noticed that for sure. So I just want to share that because this is such an affordable source as well. Like I said, these two cost only $1.50. It's an affordable way to get my collagen naturally and the body can uh, use it, I believe, more readily than were I to take a supplement. So I do prefer getting it from the food. So I'm going to leave this here, the final product. It really is so delicious. I can't wait to eat this uh, later this afternoon. And just one other note, <laughs> I saw you eyeing this kimchi in the background. I know you were looking at it before. I made this yesterday. It's been fermenting at room temperature. Of course, you can ferment things on the countertop for days and days and days. But the weather right now, while it's still warm, I have been putting it in the refrigerator a little bit earlier. So I usually wait a day and a half to two days. So I will have my fresh batch of kimchi ready to go soon. So here is what the pig's feet look like after three and a half hours of simmering. You can see that the liquid has evaporated quite a bit. That broth is what I spoke of earlier that I will reserve and consume with all its goodness and nutrients. It will nourish my body appropriately. That's it. These are done to perfection and I shall plate them. I'm going to remove them carefully to my beautiful jade bowl. Another acquisition uh, passed down to me. That's it. You can see, you see this texture? That's exactly what you want. And all of this collagen-rich goodness and gelatin, and I lick the bone proudly. <laughs> Those are the pig's feet done. I'm just going to boil the rest of this a little bit, just a couple minutes, and then I'll turn the stove off. Like I said, I store this in the refrigerator and then it sets to a jello, actually, consistency. And you can warm that up and drink it like a broth or you can simply eat it with a spoon and consume it that way in its gelatin form. I hope you enjoyed and learned something to your health.